Let's move on to the other examples. Here, the shape is PQRS, and it is a negative K value. So just like before, I want to draw lines from the original vertex through the origin and keep going on the other side. So I did that from P, now I'm going to do it from S, from R, and from Q. You can draw all of the lines at once. P is four and a half centimeters from the origin. My K value is negative a third. Again, I ignore the negative sign during this part. I take my 4.5 centimeters and I multiply it by one third. And it's 1.5. I slide the ruler along the line and on that line, 1.5 centimeters from the origin, I put my new dot. That's my P prime. Let's do S. S is 9 centimeters from the origin. 9 times 1 third is 3. So I slide the ruler along the line and 3 centimeters from the origin on that line I put my new vertex and I call that S prime. Now I'm doing R. R is also 9 centimeters. 9 times 1 third again is going to be 3. So I slide the ruler along the line and 3 centimeters from the origin on that line I put my new vertex and I call it R prime. Finally Q. Q is 6 centimeters. 6 times 1 third is equal to 2. So I slide the ruler along the line and two centimeters from the origin on that line, I put my new vertex, and that is my Q prime. I still have to connect the dots, but then I'm going to be finished. There's my copy drawing. Like I predicted, it's on the other side of the origin. It's one third as big, and it's one third as far from the origin as the original. Now let's do the other two examples where the K value is positive. Here, you start from the origin with your ruler and you draw a line that goes through the vertex and keeps going. This is the only difference between the positive and negative K values in the process with which you draw them, is where you start drawing the line and, and how far you draw it. Now. I measure the distance between vertex A and the origin and I see it is 7 centimeters. 7 times a half is 3 and a half. This time my ruler is already zeroed on the origin. So 3 and a half centimeters from the origin, I put my new vertex and I call it A prime. B is 8 centimeters from the origin. 8 times a half is 4. So with the ruler zeroed on the origin, I go 4 centimeters along that line. I put my new vertex and I call it B prime. C is 5 centimeters from the origin. 5 times a half is 2 and a half. So with my ruler zeroed on the origin, I go 2 and a half centimeters. I put my new vertex there on the line and I call it C prime. I just have to connect the dots now. And I find that what I predicted would happen did happen. The copy is on the same side of the origin. It's half as big as the original and it's half as far from the origin as the original. Now we're on to K equals 3 in the last example. I zero the ruler on the origin, I draw a line from the origin through vertex X and I keep going. From the origin 
through vertex W and I keep going. From the origin, through vertex Z and I keep going. From the origin, through vertex Y and I keep going. Now, K equals 3. I need to measure. Vertex X is 2 centimeters from the origin. I multiply 2 by 3 and I get 6. So with the ruler already zeroed on the origin, I go 6 centimeters along that line and that's my X prime. Vertex W is 3 centimeters from the origin. 3 times 3 is 9, so I go 9 centimeters along that line and that is my W prime. Vertex Z is 3 centimeters also. 3 times 3 is 9, I go 9 centimeters and that's my Z prime. And vertex Y is two and a half centimeters from the origin. I multiply two and a half by three and I get seven and a half. I go seven and a half centimeters from the origin along the line and that's my Y prime. I just have to connect the dots. My copy drawing, as I predicted, is on the same side of the origin. It's three times as big as the original, and it's three times as far from the origin as the original. So reading your K value allows you to predict what the final answer will look like, and is extremely powerful for helping you to get the drawing right. It makes it easier to remember all of the steps for drawing that I have shown if you really understand the K value. So that is the key to understanding this type of question. Good luck with all of your future size transformations.